bring you some live pictures from there. You recall that this press conference is in relations to, relation to uh, uh, allegations of internal wranglings within the party where uh, some uh, members of the party have accused the chair and the general secretary of acting unilaterally without uh, the consent of the National Executive uh, Committee. But we, in a bit, we should cross over and bring you uh, those live visuals from there. We understand that IREX youth have besieged uh, the headquarters of the NPP with offensive uh, weapons and we would uh, get into that in a bit when we are joined by a man who's been on the ground. I understand my, uh, my colleague, Kwebna Chen Chen Hene, has joined us over the telephone. Hello, Kwebna. Hello. Kwebna, I want to believe you're safe. Tell us what's going on there. Hello, can you hear yes. uh, Kwebna, in the meantime, I just want to tell uh, our, our viewers, they are seeing live pictures of what I was talking about earlier on TV. The irate youth who have besieged the headquarters of the NPP, and uh, Kobna, perhaps you, you, you might want to tell us why they are doing so now. Well, we are still yet to know exactly why, but uh, while we were up here having this press conference, I, I heard some people shouting, especially some ladies who came in shouting, uh, insulting the general secretary, saying, you know, but we didn't pay too much attention to it until the, the noise actually uh, generated some momentum. So I quickly went down there to check what was happening, and I saw a lot of people, uh, a lot of family wielding machetes and all. Uh, I don't know what it is they wanted here, but it seems to be the case that they, they were really, really, really angry about something, even threatening to smash the glasses of some of the cars of the, the officials right here. And it's still very messy down there. I don't know whether you are getting the officials currently. Are you? Hello, Kevini. Kavna, I, I, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so uh, as of now, I have, I have actually left downstairs because, uh, let, let me tell you, the two things happening down there, uh, they, the, the place is quite chaotic. Uh, some are your wielding cutlasses. Uh, uh, a, a colleague reporter says he spotted one person with a pistol. I haven't personally seen it, but that is what one colleague reporter said, that he actually saw a person, one gentleman, with a pistol. Uh, the journalists have been asked to remain indoors, but we are still trying our, our very best mm. to to get the pictures and to get the, the past of the matter, get to know what Kobna, is really from, happening, from why the the we see. are actually there. Kobna, very well. Yeah, now, from the shots we see here on our screens, it looks like the national chair is, is engaging some of uh, exactly. these the, men. The is that what it is? I just, I just spoke to him uh, a while ago. He said he was going down there to, to find out what was really happening, why the people were there, and why there's so much promotion going on down there. So uh, he's now down there currently speaking to them. He's trying his very best to, to get to know what is happening down there. So uh, I'll, I'll quickly go down there again to see whether I'll be able to this time now get a hold of what is really happening. So let me... Can you please do call me back in a minute or absolutely, so? Absolutely, absolutely, Kwebna. You're seeing some live pictures from the headquarters of the NPP where I rate you besiege uh, the headquarters uh, while the national chair, uh, Paul Afoko, and the general secretary, uh, Kwebna Ejapon, uh, were, were holding a press conference uh, to address some issues. And look at that. Some fighting just broke out as well from the NPP headquarters. And this is live on your TV. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
watching the news today here on Joy News. Just come in and irate news besiege the premise of the NPP headquarters wielding uh, cutlasses, as we are told by a man on the ground, Kabna Boateng, Chen Chen Hene Boateng. And he's joined me again from there as we continue to see some live pictures from the NPP headquarters. Hello, Kabna. What more can you tell us now? Hello, Kimini. Yes, we, we are still here. Uh, actually, when I went downstairs to try and really find out what was really happening on the ground, I was immediately whisked back into the premises because uh, I was told if I do not get upstairs and the people are there, the youth, if they should see me on phone, I'm sure I, I'll be popped by in the next few, few minutes or so. But uh, the, the seriousness of the issue is such that the, my worry today now is that the police is still not in as of now. This has been going on for about five to ten minutes or so, uh, but the police is yet to arrive on the scene. Mm. Uh, as you can still see live visuals of what is really happening on the ground, mm. uh, tempers kindly have been managed in a way, uh, but most of the people who were here earlier to cause this uh, distortion and disruption of the process uh, have actually been escorted out we, of we, the we building. Saw, we I'm saw a fight break out live on TV. Do we know what caused that? We are still yet to get to know the exact cause of the issue. You just hear people uh, saying all sorts of things and insulting one another. Uh, but as to what really the problem is, what really they are missing here is, we are yet to uh, ascertain that. But I, I'm still trying my very best to get hold of some information right here. So as soon as I do get that information, I'll, I'll mm. convey it to you. So uh, earlier, to earlier the national chair was uh, uh, on the ground w together with the IRATUs. And uh, he seemed to have been able to manage Tempest, like you said. We see exactly. him still there. What's he doing? Uh, he, he's still speaking to a few people, uh, obviously trying to let them know that... Uh, some of these things do happen, but uh, <laughs> when they do happen, it's your ability to manage them because as things and I think he is, he's, I'm trying to read his list, but <laughs> it's really, it's really, be, it's really a bit difficult. But uh, mm. well, okay, so he's walking back out there to the car park exactly where I don't know whether he's walking to his car. Okay, he's, he's actually speaking to some other people on the ground right now, uh, calming well, them down and telling them that okay, mm. the police is on this way. Okay. Well, based on his symbolism, I, I, I can deduce that he's probably saying that, okay, the police is on its way, so... Kamla, we, 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 we see a number of scattered young men there. If you I take mean, a casual look, how many of young men uh, may have engaged in this? The, the people who actually came here to perpetrate this violence, is that what you're asking? Absolutely. Okay, uh, uh, if I could guess, there will be... They should be in the region of about 20 to 30 thereabouts. Mm, I about see. 20 to 30. Yeah. But, but while we see the national chair try to uh, uh, manage tempers, uh, the, the general secretary, his counterpart in this press conference, we haven't spotted. You know his whereabouts. I, I haven't actually seen the general secretary. I see. Well, now, why has it become necessary that the pressman be taken upstairs? Kevin, you asked why it has become necessary for... The pressman to be taken upstairs. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I must say, uh, because of what, what happened earlier, uh, you know, I'm, as I reported earlier, some IRA to besiege the premises, uh, doing all sorts of things. I mean, so in our own interest, I was actually wished and I was pushed into the building. I was forced mm. into the building myself. I went out there to try and uh, get an exclusive, get to know what was really happening. But I was actually forcibly pushed into the building for my own safety. Mm. So now, we've all been earlier, we saw the tempers were uh, calming down. Uh, yeah. Did that change while we were away? Well, yes, actually, that, that is the current situation here right now. Uh, those who came in earlier to perpetrate that particular uh, violence have been escorted out of the building. Most of them have been. In fact, all of them have been escorted out. And uh, there is heavy police presence here now. The police has arrived. I can see two cars out there uh, uh, in front of the MPP secretariat. Uh, two cars out here, plus some dispatch motorbikes also. Uh, plus a, a number of onlookers who are actually uh, in front of 
the MPP secretary trying to enter, but no, those in are not allowed to go out, those out are not being allowed to come in. That's yeah. the current situation here right now. Uh, maybe one quick thing I need to add is that there, there was a bit of traffic because of uh, the current thing that happened. So there was a bit of traffic on this particular street of the road. But basically, the journalists here, for, to the best of my knowledge, everyone is uh, safe because we are all in here. There was just one reporter, one colleague reporter, a friend Yama Kuku Party, uh, who was outside and was, uh, I had to be immediately wished in when they realized he was a journalist because uh, a few people had eyes on him. Let me put it that way. Yeah. I, I, I see. And, and so now that the police are there, would you describe the area as calm? Well, let me say it's largely calm. Let me, let me, let me, let me use that word. So, uh, I'm quickly going down there to try to see whether I could have an interview with the chairman, the national chairman, Paul Apoko. He's actually granting a, a, an interview. So I'll quickly rush down there to see whether I could get you that interview currently. But as things stand now, uh, on the premises of the NPP headquarters, uh, mm. there, are, there are no people here with... Mm. Now, Kwabna, we hope to catch that live in a bit. We'll give you uh, a minute to do that and then come back to you. Sure, you, sure, you, sure, 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 sure. Well, a news just coming in. Irish youth who besieged CNPP uh, headquarters earlier, early on have been escorted out of the building. Currently, there is heavy police presence at the headquarters. Well, uh, pressmen who were present at the NPP press conference have been uh, uh, sent up to the building in a secure location to prevent the uh, injuring of any one. Now, uh, the NPP party chair and uh, this general secretary were uh, addressing the press as far as matters relating to uh, some internal wrangling that have got to do with the uh, sending on leave of the Deputy Communications Director, Perry Okujeto. Now, a lot of accusations have come up since then over a unilateral decision taken by these two. Uh, in addressing the press, Kovne Japon, who is General Secretary for the party, mentioned that it was an administrative decision and uh, Perry wasn't the only one who went on leave. And appointing nine other deputy communication directors does not mean Perry's job has been taken from him. He also wasn't happy that the letter sent to Perry was uh, all over the media, insinuating uh, Perry uh, sent those, uh, made those letters available to the media. Now, in a bit, we would uh, hear what the chairman of the party who went down to calm tempers, like you're seeing in your uh, visuals in, in, on your screens at the moment, is uh, telling the press in an interview at the NPP headquarters.
at the NPP headquarters with heavy police presence after irate youth besieged uh, the premise of the of the party with offensive uh, weapon. The journalists who were attending a press conference at the building have been sent to a secure location. And well, in a bit, we should uh, get in touch with a man on the ground, Kwabna Chenche Hene Boateng, who's been engaging party chair Paul Afoku, who was indeed addressing the press conference at a time uh, the young man besieged the premise of uh, the party headquarters. Meanwhile, uh, heavy police presence has been recorded to the uneasy calm at the NPP headquarters has also been recorded. Kobna Chenche Hene Boateng is back over the telephone. Hello, Kobna. <laughs> Come on, are you there? Right, in, in engaging Paul of Foucault, what did you gather? I can't really hear you. I'm, I'm asking that in engaging Paul of Foucault, what did you gather? Well, uh, what the man of Foucault actually said was that uh, much as if there was a bit of an issue early on, they have been able to manage the situation. Uh, he chooses to call it an altercation. Uh, way it was that there was a slight altercation that came up in that he was able to manage the situation. Now, when ever the two of them, one thing he actually mentioned was. I think we
we have lost Kwabna there, but just coming in, heavy please, President.